Hey everyone, Burton's back, we're still playing as Rob, and what's happened? Well, the Iron Men, they've landed. Uh, Asha Greyjoy, who's ruler of the Iron Islands, is leading the way. She's in the Riverlands right now. We are going to go and meet her in Old Stones. We've got a couple of secondary armies um, fighting the way here. In the meantime, we're just going to have a quick talk with my brother Brandon, who's now king of the Iron Throne. So we're going to send him a quick gift, only because we need to improve his uh, his lightness of us. We'll send one to Daenerys as well. My reinforcements are right behind us, and as you can see, just on cue, the mercenary ships have arrived. Two hundred gold for Daenerys. No, we can't afford that in wartime. Lord Paramount Renly's guard has become the new leader of the Lord Joffrey. The oh my God! They have taken Joffrey from me. He's died in a suspicious accident. Could that be Renly's work? It looks like we have a new enemy. Renly Baratheon. Hmm. His heir is Tommen. We may have to deal with Renly. We'll deal with him as soon as we've dealt with these iron bomb. Asha Greyjoy has turned and is now heading south. Looks like the Battle of Old Stones will not be happening. And she's joined with Lord Renly. How deep does this plot go? Daenerys Targaryen has created the title of the Westerlands. Oh, meanwhile the Lannisters have attacked one of my armies. As small as it is. Go and join. Okay, so we're in a slight conundrum right now. We're going to have to split the army. Me and Howland will form the main force that goes and attacks the Iron Islands. We're going to comprise ourselves of about 10,000 men and leave the majority with John Umber. There we go. Onto the ship, everyone. John, in the meantime, you're going to be chasing these. Now, it's hard to believe that Joffrey is now dead. We didn't get a chance to exact revenge with ice. So perhaps the person who killed him will answer for his crimes. Renly is making a very good play for the Iron Throne right now. So far he's got the backing of 34,000 men, his own, Asher and Tommen. And the leader is Lord Lionel of Hartsholm. Hartsholm, surprisingly, is deep in the Vale. Oh, development. Asher has left that faction. 
Tommen has left the faction. Renly has given up? I find this hard to believe. He has. However, instead he's back in Asher for independence. Hmm. That's certainly interesting. We're going to pause everything here for a moment. And we're going to take a little bit of an overview. Firstly, let's have a family overview. Lan, who's with Brynden at Riverrun, is developing quite nicely. He's still a poor fighter, but he is only a six-year-old. Um, he has increased, though, to three martial, which is good. That'll do for now. Uh, Ilyana Tully, who's the heir to Riverrun. She's not doing too bad herself. She's a year younger. Uh, she's a more even based character, so that's completely fine. My brother Brandon, or Bran, should I say? He's doing okay on the Iron Throne so far. He only slightly dislikes me, only because we refuse to let him go to the Night's Watch. Oh, sorry, Brandon. Look at you now. You're the king. And that leaves the question of Rickon. I think Rickon deserves a uh, deserves a family. So let's find us a quick wife for Rickon, and then we'll see where we can go after that. Now, there's a couple of ladies. Uh, no one's too good. I believe we can get a better match for him somewhere. We've got one army. An army of one. He must be here to negotiate, that's completely fine. Okay, we'll have a think about Rickon. Let's get our army over to the Iron Islands. We're gonna go straight for it. Straight for Pike. Meanwhile, Ofgar is going to guard the pass. He's going to remain in the Old Stones. Great John is going to continue his uh, his trek. And it shouldn't be too long now. Hopefully, we can take Tendrin before this army actually arrives here. It looks like they're on the way. Uh, our reinforcements are trying to hurry up so they don't get caught, but it's only a matter of time. Ryman is dead. That is great news for us. Ryman was one of the guys who wanted the Riverlands very badly. With his passing, who is it passed to? Danwell. And Danwell happens to like us. So let's suggest the betrothal. So Danwell himself. We've got Barbara D. She's, she's far too old for him. And obviously they're going to say no. That's fine. We need to have a daughter. But I'm thinking about that. I'm not sure if I really want a daughter of mine to be married to a Frey. So let's pick a new ambition rather than have a daughter. Let's improve something. Some, some skill. Obtain the Valerian Swords. Let's do that. Because right now, and that's the whole reason we're at war. We've landed on Pike. Excellent. As we can see, Pike have got 6,500 men there. And we've got the 10,000. It looks like they've landed another 5,000 men. We're going to meet them in Malay Bay. Good job we left some people in reserve here, otherwise they would have been able to slip straight past us. Our reinforcements have arrived. Hopefully we can take the tendering. 
Asha is making her way straight for us though. So these guys really need to hurry up. There we go, we're waiting in Malay Bay for them now. This is off guard's chance. And the battle's begun. So who are we fighting? Thoromir Ironmaker. Quentin Greyjoy, looks like he's uh, taking the army. And Stig of the Iron Islands, Asher's husband again. Hopefully this should be a fairly easy victory for ourselves. We have the advantage because we're fighting in uh, somewhat mountainous areas. Ah, in the meantime, Asher, the Kraken's daughter, Tyrion the Imp, and Sawain of Great Wick have joined forces and have uh, ambushed Lord Mark. I don't think reinforcements will get there in time, unfortunately. So we're destined to lose some of the war score on that. So she's joined a new faction. That means nothing to me at all. Okay, we've lost that battle. So as you can see, Mark Piper has managed to escape with his life. Uh, they are making their way to uh, Casterly Rock. And that's where the reinforcements of John Umber are going to meet him. In the meantime, Ofgar, he's, uh, he's defeated Asher's husband. They are currently on their way to Stilfen. They're going to be trapped all the way. I'm still on Pike. Um, it'll be a matter of time before that falls. But so far, the war's not looking too bad in our favour, unless something dramatic happens. Mark Piper's been caught again. Oh, the raiders hit the camp. Carry on chasing them. Oh, there's a peasant revolt going on. Well, Daenerys should crush that in no time. Can we catch them? There we go. Well done. Okay, so we've got two major battles going on right now. First one is going to be uh, up here. It's off guard watching our rear. He's going to uh, try and crush what remains of Asher's husband's army. Meanwhile, in Lannister territory, which is now Grey Greyjoy territory, Asher is fighting his Great John Umber. So this could be one of the deciding factors in the war. Now we've won the battle up north, it's just the battle down south now. Meanwhile we're going to get one of the northmen, Ricard of Carholds, he's going to finish these guys off. We're still winning this battle, yep, they're turning to run, that's excellent. We're going to have to continue to hunt these guys down as well. That improves our war score to 39%. Get these guys on the boat. So all in all, very good so far. Any moment now, Pike will fall. Asher Greyjoy's army is crumbling. There, back off to the Tendrig. So we want to chase them there again. Oh, oh. 
So it's only a matter of time before this war has been, uh, has finished even. And we may have to take a few more holdings. And then we're going to turn our attention to the potential person who's taken our vengeance away from us. And that's this man here. I wonder, just wonder why he's done it. Perhaps with Joffrey out of the way. He's going to put himself more in line towards the throne. Well, we'll wait and see. It'll all be included within the next episode, which will be up soon. So, thanks for watching as usual, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Any questions, feel free to ask. Cheers.